Hey guys, what is up? Hope you're having a great day. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a method and strategy to win a whole lot more ranked matches. Now, I've personally been putting this video off for a couple of weeks just because I didn't want to put this out there because I know a lot of people will start to do it and it'll just be super annoying if I go against people doing this in every single ranked match. Now, this does work a lot better if you have two to three players on your team, but of course it can work also when you're solo queuing. It's just not as effective. So it's pretty much just one thing, persistence. Nobody uses this and I'm not really sure why what it does is score streak progression does not reset on death but score streaks costs are doubled so that means it just takes longer to get score streaks but your your bar or your counter at the bottom of the screen doesn't actually reset every time you die so that means for example if you're playing something like hard point you can rush the point get a couple kills and when you get kills in the points you're going to get extra points on top of the original 100 points for getting that kill so it's just going to make it really easy for you to rack up a ton of kills and every time you die you don't even need to worry about it so you can be super aggressive and still get your score streaks which is super crucial now, the reason that this is so good with two to three players is because say, for example, one person's having a really good game, the other's having a not so great game. So they're not able to get their Goliath or whatever. I would always put on a Goliath, probably the best score streaks for the lowest amount of points right now in the game. So when you have two to three people on your team that you know are pretty decent players, at least one of them a game, one to two of them, maybe even three of them a game are going to get the Goliath. And when you triple Goliath during one game, you're almost hundred percent going to win that game. So if you're playing aggressive, capturing flags, playing in the hard point, you're going to rack up points and it's going to make it quicker for you to get those score streak because it does take double the normal time. So I noticed that most of the time when you finish getting all the points that you need to get those higher score streak, it's going to be around the end of the game, probably going to be a pretty close game, but you're about to get a Goliath or a VTOL, whatever, and it's just going to completely flip the game and you're going to end up winning. And that happens so often. Persistence was actually recently banned in competitive scrims just because it's so good when a whole five man team runs persistence, uh, at least two to three of them are bound to get a Goliath. But since it's not not banned in actual ranked. If you guys want to, I would highly suggest slapping it on, playing aggressive, playing the objective, trying to rack up as many points as possible and using this to win the game. So now I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. It doesn't really affect me that much personally uh, because I go on long score streaks and most of the time I end up getting them no matter what. But uh, so I didn't really, I couldn't really demonstrate it that well, but you'll kind of see what I'm talking about in game. So we're going to hop into that right now. If you haven't already, remember to click the like button, subscribe here if you're new and let's get into it. All right, let's go boys. So team deathmatch is me. I, I honestly, I'm gonna have to like rush a lot if I want to get enough kills to even activate this, this perk. And that was an enemy. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, I don't know about this perk on this game mode. Alright, that's a 2K. Where'd he go? I wish I had my UAV because I would have my UAV by now at this point. This is why this is like the only game mode that this really is not that good on. But I'm just, as you can see, I'm just kind of rushing blindly going for kills because the more kills you get, it doesn't matter if you die because you're still going to have your, your score streaks coming up. So we almost have our UAV. He almost tomahawked me, what the? Is coming. Enemy shock RC is coming. Friendly shock RC is coming. Friendly shock RC has been destroyed. Hunter killer drone deployed. Enemy shock RC has been destroyed. Friendly shock RC has been destroyed. No, I knew it. I knew it. How did I know? All right, we got our uh, predator. Let me choose this. 4K, let's go. Hey, we got our Goliath. I mean, it doesn't even matter, to be completely honest. That was terrible. I forgot to change the range on this. My teammate got his Goliath too, but it's kinda late, dude. Reloading! Cover me! 
Oh, nice shot. Nice shot, bro. Nice, good job. Okay, we got 24 kills, so almost half the kills in the lobby. We didn't really need to use Persistent that much, but you can see at the end there, I did get my Goliath, so if it was a close game, I would have just been able to use it and secure the dub. We're pushing up a little bit late, but they haven't even kept C yet, so we're good. All right, let's check top. Hey, what the? I'm thinking they should come from C. Yeah. Reloading. Losing C. Enemy shock RC. These guys are such selfish players. I say that because they don't even have a point yet, and they're not even going for points. Oh, one of their teammates left the game. I would too. <laughs> no, not really. Let's drop a nuke real quick. Is he top? Oh. Oh, rip. I don't even, I don't even want to cap it, because I'm going for my nuke. My aimbot activated and I shot through the smoke right there. Don't expose me. Let's move. We we do have my um my specialist just in case he gets a little dicey. Alright. Well maybe this uh I don't need persistence for this match, but I'm not gonna jump. Alright. Well, that was a good first round. All right, we're, we fixed our hand cam. Sorry about that, guys. I'm probably going to blur that out because I have a bunch of Red Bull cans. <laughs> I'm a caffeine addict, so just ignore that. There's a guy above. Okay, how did he know? Like, that's my big question. Did he hear me? Or do they have a UAV? I don't see how they could have a UAV. I don't know. All right, it's fine. We're gonna use our Predator. I can't go through there. Oh, I always forget that. Second video in a row, I did that. All right, we got our Goliath, perfect. Now, it isn't that close of a game, but if it was, I would just use this Goliath and then go cap a point or something and secure the dub. So you guys kind of understand how this works. I don't use this very often, so you can probably tell because I already overheated it. Can I not even get through here? Oh yes I can. Okay, I don't know how I fit through there. Okay, I think he's gonna survive. Nope. These Goliath has like triple FMJ or something on their bullets. Dude, you gotta watch your mini map. If you see a giant metal machine with a minigun on it rushing at you. I would run away. <laughs> Let's see if it's bad. Oh, okay. 23 and 1. I don't even think we're going to drop 30 because there, there's just not enough of them. I wasn't paying attention. They're still challenging me, which is kind of odd. There's only one of me. They could just go around the whole map and avoid me. Oh, I can't. I can't. Teammates are going to steal my kills. 
No. Imagine if you could jump on this thing, that would be so scary. You just see a Goliath hopping toward you. I got the song stuck in my head. That should be game. I want one more kill at least, but my team is just too good. I, I don't really get an opportunity to say that my team is too good, but... Oh. Okay, GG's.